More questions and answers tonight following a deadly motorcycle accident that killed a father of eight. John Ten Hoff of Grand Rapids was riding with a group late last night on US 131 in Kalamazoo County. Kalamazoo public safety officers say Hoff lost control of his bike and crashed. He was pronounced dead at the scene. His girlfriend was riding on the back of his bike and is being treated at Bronson Hospital tonight. And News Channel 3's Brittany Gray sat down with one of the riders who witnessed that crash. Jennifer Tolhurst was out with John Tenhoff and several others riding late last night. She says they were trying to merge onto US 131 from I-94, but all too quickly, it was over. Over, we don't know what happened, but we do know that whoever's in this four-door gray sedan heading northbound on 131 at 11.05 last night, they can at least tell us what happened. Tolher says once on 131, Tenhoff tried to move into the left lane ahead of the gray sedan, but he kept going over to the gravel-covered shoulder. He never even had a chance to set up in the lane. We, that's what we need. We, we need. we need to know. We need to know if that car knows why John kept going. She says they're not trying to place blame. They just want answers. We just want to know what they saw to help bring closure to this girl and his ex-wife and these eight children who now have to grow up without a dad. Just hours after his father's death, Tenhoff's son Alex said it was his turn to step up, or as his shirt read, man up. Because I'm the oldest son. I mean, I need to be strong for my siblings and my mom, everybody. A big responsibility for a 14-year-old, but he says he's ready to step into his father's shoes. Yeah, I want to be just like my dad. Just like him. And that was Brittany Gray reporting. KDPS is still investigating the crash. Tenhoff's family members do not think he was wearing a helmet. A memorial find has been set up for his children. For information, just head to our website and click on news links.